fire. This is my opinion of the Sony Axleback uh, 2015 Mustang GT. It, uh, I'll just tell you, it's not my favorite, but it's better than a stock exhaust. Here is an in cabin sound. It has a throatiness to it, like a deep, bassy tone girth to that tone um, especially when you just start it up in the morning your neighbors definitely uh, hear it and feel it even though it's just an axle pack but the problem with it is it chokes out like you get in the upper rpms and you think you'd get louder actually it's very muffled so for that reason i'm out give you a normal takeoff here sounds throaty and deep but it just doesn't I don't like high-end raspiness in an exhaust but I'm changing my mind on that a little bit because I need get a little bit of that rasp up top and this one just seems to bring out the low end and muffle that high-end sound so I'm gonna throw on the Roush exhaust here in a second and see how that sounds Put on the Roush exhaust, got the car all jacked up. And uh, looking at this Bassani system. And these pipes don't match. If you look down there, you see that um, the clamp goes all the way actually to the axle. So this whole pipe's been replaced for the Bassani and uh, the Roush does not match up with that piping system. There's too much bend in the Rouse exhaust versus the um, Bassani. So I was going to cut that, stick the Roush on there with the flange, but uh, the bend is off. So I'm going to take it to the muffler shop, have them cut it, maybe make a custom pipe to fit this if I want to keep the uh, Roush clamps on there. that it is not a problem. Inside the cabin on the 2012, you heard that Roush more, but in this 2015, 
the sound is more in the back, like out the back. That's where it seems like it's coming from, which is where you, you'd want it. You don't want it in your cabin, but man, when you when you get on it, you hear it. And when you're just cruising, it's quiet. So let's get on it just a little bit so you hear it cold. Fire.